Podtacular Tip Show, episode 62, for the week of May 8th, 2006. All right, gentlemen, let's get freaky! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Podtacular, the unofficial Halo 2 podcast. I'm your host, Fumo Jive. I'm JVB. G. Nubbis. Oh, G. Lewis, my bad. <laughs> I forgot who you were there. Dude, dude, th- th- this. No, no, this thing is. Oh, I mean, yeah, I got kind of, you know, mixed between Echo Beefcake and G. Lewis. You know. Ah. <laughs> got to remember what yeah. website I'm on here. So we got uh, we got two members of HotGamerGuys.com right here. Ah. C. Tag staffers, Game Talk hosts, you name it, we do it. Yeah, well, so, we don't well. do Gemini 8, so always remember that. Oh, oh <laughs> Yeah, so all you ladies out there, man, anyway. check it out. <laughs> JVB's yeah, taken, right though, there. unfortunately. Yeah. Aww. I know you're bummed about that. Come out right, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> well. This is not Brokeback Halo. <laughs> Brokeback Halo. Not, not, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is the tip show, guys, and this is where we're going to go over all kinds of cool tips mm-hmm. for everybody for uh, Halo 2 gameplay, help you level up and stay there. we got lots of general tips. we got tips for our map of the month, which is Relic this month, where we're going to talk about lots of good uh, CTS strategies, as well as uh, stuff for Team Slayer and Team Snipers. So it's going to be some cool stuff. It's going to mm-hmm. be a good show, so let's get rocking. Yeah. Well, let's I mean, JVB's here. It's going to be an awesome show. I mean, come on. Nah. Yay. Nah, nah, don't say that. Don't say that. G. Lewis is the All right, who's going to start it out? Who wants to start it out? Who wants to start it out? Why don't you start I'll that, start G. Lewis? It. Yeah, go ahead, wise guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we got the uh, Podtacular 1500 campaign going on, which I think we need to finish by this episode, would it be? I would assume. It's probably going to be... Um, this would be the... I don't know if it's going to be over by the time this comes out or not, but anyway, it's going to be over by E3. Oh. So we're trying to get 1500 listeners yeah. by E3, which you guys probably heard the last two episodes. But... Um, yeah, it's it's definitely you know helped quite a bit, and we've got a uh, whole bunch of new members on the site, which is cool. Hey, speaking of which, we got new forums on the site, pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At first, so I was, I was like, where, where are the where are the forums at? I'm like looking around. Yeah, and, and it's just on the, the side. Right Check out the new yeah, forum. Right <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a little different. You know, it, like, takes a little, it takes a it takes a few minutes to get used to. Once you get it down, you know, it's it's actually better than it was before so which is cool yeah my palms started sweating i'm like i can't make fun of salminator no more <laughs> <laughs> that poor <Samantha>. guy <laughs> <laughs> that mullet picture i always throw at him oh man it's every once in a while <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so we got that going on um jvb you're talking about an update to the xbox.com recently Yes, now we can text message from Xbox uh, from Xbox.com. So you can actually see messages through the dashboard when you're on the 360 or on Xbox.com. So hmm. um, you can actually text back and forth. Like I was texting with uh, Purple Helmet yesterday. Well, of course I was, you know, on my keyboard, so it was a lot easier for me. But um. Yeah. So is that only it's for definitely a great feature? Is that only know. for the 360 then, or does it work for Xbox? Yeah, one, like I think it's for 360. I don't know. Either. I tried it out on. Uh, I actually sent you one yesterday, food. So let's see if it works. Yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, but um, I I, I doubt voice voice um messages is gonna is gonna come through. Yeah, it's, it's probably like a lot of bandwidth. Yeah. But, but definitely the text is awesome, and I could I could see like some kind of MSN type of uh, integration going on. Yeah, that would be kind of getting annoying if you're on your 360 though trying to type that fast. Yeah, yeah, really. But, so that's why I decided I was gonna spam everybody with my with my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> but you only you only allow 250 words, so it's not like you can actually spam your website and describe. You can only it. send like a hundred a day, is it? 200 messages. To friends, and I believe it's fifty to to non. Just tell them, uh, hey, this is Jube from Nigeria, and I have an important business matter to discuss with you about <laughs> my nephew who's recently deceased. Oh, has man, read this I article. Hate that email. <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm actually sitting here reading this crap <laughs> again. I know huh? it's always and the I'll same spam one. Spam everybody. Man. 
<laughs> should you do that with, with, with the pod tag of the 500 campaign to start sending people? The 500 the campaign? <laughs> oh, 1500. <laughs> We're trying to get 500 I'll steam out game talk, my bad. No, I'm just kidding. We're trying to get less yeah, listeners by E3, so please don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> If you listen, listen right stop now. Stop. now. Stop. Well, we're just joking, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, let's get to the tips. Contest. Yeah, what? let's go to. All right, I'll, I'll do classic yeah, rock guy. Go for it. Go for it. He had that uh, slap a hole <laughs> game type that I really liked. <laughs> yeah. Classic rock guy says, "I don't know if anyone has mentioned any strategies against cheaters, but this one has worked for me many times. If you're getting modded and the modder has spawned mods, then forget it. You lose." But sometimes the modder doesn't get hosts, so his spawn mods won't work. Three steps to beat modders and standbyers. Step one. Why did I think of that freaking new kids on the block? Anyway, step one. <laughs> step one. <laughs> we'll be having some fun. We could have lots of fun. Step two is just me and you. <laughs> <laughs> step by step. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That was the best part, dude. At the end, they're like, Hoo! Yeah, no, dude. <laughs> oh, God. And it's complete of she unknowing. Like, what what are you talking about? Thank you, classic rock guy. Anyway, uh, step one, get the lead by more than four. Step two, make everyone except the best player on your team quit. Step three, let them hide the rest of the, the, rest of the game. Chances are you'll win if it's a big match. I've done this and won countless times against modders and standby to standbyers. Peace. The only question Personal? I got for that is um, how how do you get ahead by four? Like yeah, see, then you gotta <laughs> yeah. If you're getting yeah. modded, first you gotta get ahead by four. That's the tricky part. I have a personal tip: if you're getting modded, uh, crouch down and look at the ground and start screaming, "Mommy." That's that's I mean, great. Thanks, thanks for that uh, high-level tip that there, works. G. Lewis. Yeah, dude. That, uh, especially when you get like level like fifty, it works great. Yeah, man. That, <laughs> that tip is to, for the, people between levels fifty and fifty-one. Yeah, <laughs> of course. I was nearly a fifty-one once. <laughs> once. I'm, I'm a forty-seven in uh, customs. Nah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, E12 Game Pro writes in saying, "Yeah, next topic." E12 Game Pro writes in saying, "Something I learned when I was a noob on Barrel Mounds was when it is one flag CTF on offense, when you get the flag, toss it through the window. Also, when you're going through the rib cage uh, on Barrel Mounds, go through the tunnel where the energy sword is." Um, Okay, (laughs) that's all he says on that. Uh, For assault or one flag CTF, just hide with the sword crouching. And if the defense team is stupid, they may just drive the ghost straight past you, and their base could be emptied because the rest of the team is going for rockets. Of course, your team should engage Noobs. them and fight for it. Um, you should be at their base when your warthog gets there. Uh, let's see. You must work together for this uh, once. Uh, let's see. You must work together for this one, and there must be a lot of communication. You know, one thing I do on Barrel Mounds, real quick, is um, in that sword cave, I'll go in there with the BR and um, just wait on the. Let's see the furthest part from the offense spawn, and I'll just go in there and wait for a guy to go for sword and just start BRing him to death until he grabs a sword and then tries to lunge for me and can't make it. So I'll kill him, right? (laughs) And then, okay, so I'll kill him, but I won't grab the sword. I'll just kill him and then hang there for a little bit. And then the guys on offense are going to see a red X. So they're going to be like, what the heck? And they're going to run in there and they're going to be like, oh, I'm going to get this guy. He tried to take our sword guy out. So, and then, you know, those yeah. guys are, are far enough range. <laughs> I'll take those guys out, too. I'm serious. I've got, like, six, seven, eight kills in there. Just getting those guys out one by one, you know. Even if they come in by two, I can duck right around the corner there, throw some grenades, you know, and soften them up and then take them out. So, yeah. I mean, it doesn't, you yeah, know, that's, ultimately... That, that's with, a pro tip, though. Well, if it's, a, if, it's a, um, if it's an objective game, ultimately, that doesn't do any good, you would think, right? But the thing is, is that those guys are lured in there every time with the red X's. And it does keep them, you know, keep them yeah. messing with me, you know, and keeping them away from the base. Takes a lot of base. discipline. Not to so, yeah. so next time you guys are playing against Fubo Jive and Barrel Mounds, and if he's in the, and if, <laughs> if you see a red X in there, don't go in there. <laughs> yeah, really. He's got to be X. Don't go in. There. Don't go. Be ponied. <laughs> All right, <Nicholas. laughs> All right, Mr. Pepper says one really important trick is the BXR trip. 
This is one trick. Okay, now this is me talking here. It's one trick I cannot do personally. G. Lewis cannot do this because G. Lewis is a nub. Anyway. I, I can do it. The BR is an easy way to get yourself out of a close range bind. All you do is press B, uh, so you do so you melee your enemy, and you press X and pull the trigger. By tapping X, then pulling the trigger, you stop the melee animation and give a instant burst of bullets after you punch. If you can master this, this is great for the BR. And if you're real good, it is perfect for the sniper. Sniper is really hard to do with that trick. Yeah, I know how to do it. I just forget that there's a technique. And, uh, you know, like, I could be two inches from somebody and we're both shooting each other like nubs with a BR. <laughs> and I forget if I could just do BXR. I actually uh -huh. can do the uh, that little glitch where you, it's continuous. I've done it, like, three times. That was, like, the most I've ever gotten. The RRX. Yeah, consecutive. Yeah. Dude, freaking double shot, man. I was uh, listening to the MLG Pwncast recently, and shout out to those guys. They do a good job. And they were talking about the, um, mm -hmm. they were talking about the recent MLG event. The uh, I guess it was the Nationals or the Finals or something like that. Oh, well, somebody was doing that. In any case, yeah, it was the double shot was all throughout, yeah, man. The all the people that did the best were double shotting like crazy. And um, damn. Yeah, yeah I don't want to do that. I, I had posted a thing on the on the uh, forums in the past, in the older forums, talking about, uh, that had a video of this guy pulling double shots off continuously to where it was almost an automatic um, rate of fire with the BR. It's just unbelievable yeah, what done, you can do with that, I've but it's done, tricky. I've, I've done the most. That that exact one you're talking about, I've done it where it was three consecutive shot, double oh, shots. Oh, wow. I put against, <clears throat> I put against uh, Avalanche, the MLG guy in Avalanche, mm -hmm. um, and he did it to me a lot. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, so, if you can, if you can master that, though, the hell out of me. you can freaking own with that, you know, because you can get four shots off in yeah. a matter of, you know, le less than half the time than you would otherwise. Yeah, that's that's crazy, man. Which isn't much, very long anyway. Yeah, it you know, is. So. Anyway. Yeah, deny that. Which I would highly suggest, or um, I would highly suggest doing that BXR thing, like training and doing it or practicing mm -hmm. it, because it'll help you out a lot. Yeah. Yeah, especially at the higher levels. All right. Because a lot of people know about it now, so... Yeah. Anyway. Alright, uh... XX, Total Chaos XX. He says, Hey, what's up? Hey, man, how you doing? I have a tip for you for Ivory Tower. This works on any game type, but I found out... But I found out about this in a Slayer game type. Uh, where am I? Okay. If there is an ener energy sword on the map, take it and go into one of the little rooms. Okay, one of the little Which one? On the There's left like ten of them. or the right? <laughs> <laughs> no. On the right side of the elevator. Oh, okay. On the uh, yeah, where the pistol go. spawns. After yeah. you are inside, crouch so your enemies will not see you on their radars. Then every time someone walks down, down this hallway, they don't see you. Come out and melee them. Okay. This is a great way to get a lot of kills, and I got a double kill off this one. Hmm. You should be getting more. Hope you guys find this tip useful. Sweet. Yeah, no. It's that's cool. I'm not really a camper type of player, but I mean, if you're into that, you're right ahead. I am. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> on. Um, what do you call it? on Beaver Creek? I have freaking own on Rumble uh, Rumble Pit on Beaver Creek because, like, I'll just get right outside the um, right on the the corner of the back of the base by the um, the exits of the transporters. Where that tree is. Well, no, uh, right on the corner of the base. But uh, right where the, by the exit of the transporter, and as soon as someone get, comes out of the transporter, just start wailing on them. Oh. With, the, with just yeah. dual SMGs, uh -huh. though. And, but it gets them, like, almost every time. And the thing is, is that... Yeah, if I'll, I do get that. Some, I'll do that from top. I'll stand on top. Teleport. Dude, it works on top, man. That's been a... I've seen a lot of that lately. Yeah. Yeah. Works I'll well stand on top. Yeah. You know, unsuspecting fools. Because you can always drop down. That's the same thing as, anyway. as with that, on that corner right there. <laughs> I can always jump around the corner if I'm getting hit too much, and then try to get them as they come around and melee them. Yeah. You know, and then other way around too. If I get um, taken out from behind, and they if even if they take me by surprise, I can always run up and run through the transporter, and they won't follow me because they know they'll be hit in the back of the head. So, <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Yeah, G. G Lewis uh, loves. Oh yeah. You know, from behind. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> So I think it's needed. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> Doeez <laughs> says. <Fire. laughs> 
Deweez says a good thing to do with the PR. Uh, shouts to D shouts to Deweez Pro B. Yeah. Anyway, keep going. Okay, you finished. All right. <laughs> Dewey says a good thing to do with the BR is to throw a grenade yeah. right at an opponent. Next, you shoot the grenade in midair when it's about to bounce off, uh, so it'll take a chunk out of their shields. It takes some practice, but if you get it down, it can be very effective. Use good judgment because this will not always work in some situations. You probably have to have mid range to do this that. This is because... why he always pones me in Potek or Proby practices. Ah, that's crazy, man. That's like an explosive BR market. shot right there. <laughs> yeah, have you guys ever done that? Yes. Yeah, I've done it on accident. I've never done it on purpose. Yeah, I've done it on accident. I mean, like, I've never wow. thrown a grenade trying to do it. Hmm. I've never done it so. either way. <laughs> it, it, it works, it, it works great, though, so. I'll just try that. Yeah, I've seen it. I'm like, whoa. That, that was pretty crazy. And then I die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your next tip is for my uh, co-overlord, Alpex of Pro B. And he likes to say this is a literal general tip that I use all the time when we play CTF on Beaver Creek. If you want to score very fast, all you have to do is when you grab the enemy flag, jump and toss it through the roof or the window, and it will fall outside near the transport. If possible, have a player there to catch as soon as, as it comes off. Then go and onto the telly or teleporter and take your left out of it. Go ahead and jump slash toss the flag through the window of your base. And if possible, have someone there to score. This works very good, which it does. Hmm. That uh, I've uh, won games in less than three minutes with this strategy. There are three tosses total, and if done perfectly, you can score in seconds. Nice. Hmm. Which is why Pro B owns. Ah. Anyway. That's a good strat, though, because I haven't uh, thrown it through the window <laughs> successfully, like on the side. I've kind of had trouble with yeah, that. I like to yeah, the window it works well. Window. Window. I, I think. Yeah, no, some people don't don't expect that. I've had it get stuck there once. Yeah. Oh man, that's like, damn it, I can't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. You can get it from the outside, but you have to like get it on the exact spot. It's kind of hard. Yeah. yeah no, no. Anywho. Yeah, moving on. Alrighty, mm -hmm. Raging Roadkill says, "Stagger fire your SMG if you have dual wield. Fire the right. Fire the right, then the left. About one second after." Firing only one will give you time to aim, then the second will deliver the main punch. If you run out of ammo, then you still have one weapon hitting them. Yeah, I've discovered that oh, tapping so it... both at a, at a different time. Like, like I like to count one, two, one, two. That'll help with yeah. aiming. Um, I'm too ADD to do that. <laughs> I just I just tap them both, dude. Just I just. You know, I don't go like crazy on them, but I just tap them back and forth, and it it works fine for me. Like doing mid range with SM dual SMG. I just lay down. <laughs> you just lay down. I just lay down. That's a good strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Those things, yeah. That's for the yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I, I just, I just. <laughs> I mean, I I just lay down on on the bumpers, and I just you know just go off on them. You know, oh, you know, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. No, when I when, on the when, when Halo Two uh -huh. first came out, uh -huh. like that first month, yeah, everybody would just hold down on the SMG and it would like you know little by little go upwards. Yeah. And they would all yeah. say the same thing, dude. Why can't I aim, man? I'm like, cause you're freaking holding out. Now it's easy to do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah I just press it down it. while I'm shooting. It's not. It's not really that hard to get it for me anyway. I, I was. Uh, we know I'm like so pro. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Spartan117 says, Alright, here's a general tip. When you have a sniper rifle, it doesn't matter which one, grab either a BR or a carbine. If you miss a headshot when you're sniping, quickly switch yeah. to either one and get a headshot with a secondary weapon for the kill. This saves sniper shots by the dozen. Yeah. Uh, that's actually a really good tip. Because <laughs> sniper bullets sometimes yeah, can run is. out way too quick. Oh yeah, tell me about it. Here's mm -hmm. a tip. Uh, I you also mentioned a tip for ascension. Uh, always control the sniper rifles. Remember, there's a second sniper rifle near the small <coughs> sniper tower, and there are a bunch of different sm spots <coughs> that are good for the sniper. <laughs> but what I found works well is near the banshee spawn. You can see a lot of the map from the banshee spawn, and you can cover all of the approaches to the banshee spawn, the overshield walkway, the bridge, and the small dip to get down to the rocket launcher. Also, when you go to the banshee spawn, pick up the BR as a secondary weapon, because it works well with the sniper for those times you miss your target's head. That is actually really cool because you got some nice cover from both directions there. In fact, all three directions. You know, if you if you want to count more than that with the bridges and everything, but you know, with with the the uh, sniper tower and the BR, BR tower, you know, the tower power, you got both of those directions where you got 
really good cover right there. And if someone's coming down the main walkway towards you, you got plenty of, as long as you see them fast enough, mm-hmm. you got plenty of time to take them out, you know, from longer mid-range. So, that's totally a good spot. Yeah. But you gotta be late to do that. I, I don't <laughs> really like sitting behind the Banshee over there. It's just me. Every time I go over there, I always die. No, not behind yeah, the Banshee. Like, like right where those... Over there, everybody can see you. No, right where, it, right where it goes out into the platform there, there's these two big... Um, things on the corners. So there's these two big. Yeah, uh, I'm just talking about. I'm just talking about. Yeah, it works like a champ for me, there, man, because you can like, like peek uh, out of there. You know, unless they uh, know you're there and they're waiting for you, and and you can't quite yeah. get a beat on them fast yeah, that's, enough. That's what always happens to me. Is that you know, it always I can always get like maybe about three or four kills, and everybody ends up shooting at me from all directions, and I just die. So yeah. you know what I like to do is like that's I like why to I just hang. like sitting on a small tower. <laughs> you know what I like to do is, <laughs> is hang out there, and if they know I'm there. Just they'll probably send someone if they're you know if they're not very patient they'll send someone after me to try to um, you know take me out close range you know and then I'll just know they're coming and I'll come around and snipe them or something mm-hmm. and then just wait for the next guy. <laughs> next. Yeah. But you know you know Fu's awesome. He's like he's like lead. <laughs> <laughs> You're up, JV. All right. Well, UPS okay. Man Twenty Three says well, a few episodes back you guys had some questions regarding the communicator white button. Well, I did some research, and according to the Halo 2 guidebook, it says if you tap the white button once, it opens up a channel only to your team. If you hold down the white button for one second, and I'm not joking, and let it go, it will open a channel to all players on the map. The D-pad is just an alternative. Hope this helped you guys. Okay, did you guys know that? Actually, from actually, from what I know about the players on the map thing... It will open up the, to all the players on the map that are around you. Like, if say, if you're on containment, they can't hear it halfway across the course, but only people that are around you. Yeah, but it does that anyway. I know that, but... It does he's, that anyway. Oh, no, I mean, like, yeah, so that's what... I mean, this is what he's trying to say, but it says it goes to every player on the map yeah. if you hold it for more than one second. That's what it says. It can't like be players on this side of the map. He, he, he must just mean the ones close to you. No, so. I think that's yeah. what he means, is everybody in the map. So. But, yeah. yeah. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, I don't too. think so, because I don't remember ever hearing anybody for that long, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one that just holds down on the white button. <laughs> Maybe that's why they always know where the hell I'm at. No, I think, I don't know, I don't know if it works, I haven't tried it out myself, but I remember when I read this, I was like, no way, oh my gosh, I didn't know that. But, that'll be yeah. cool. Yeah. Alright, Schmads says, if you want to get better at Halo, maybe go to an MLG. Then follow my advice. Get some schmads. Mo- oh, gotta listen. <laughs> gotta listen. Wait. Shh. The most important thing about this game is teamwork. Find a team with your friends and people who will be online at the same time as you. Practice with each other. Get used to each other's voice. Use names for places uh, on maps so that you can call things out during a Slayer game. Give yeah. people roles for common game types. This can be done in the 10 seconds you have in the pregame lobby. Practicing to your practice going to your places in a close custom and have a B plan. Observe the pros at mlgpro.com and learn from them. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. I mean, it's a lot of dedication. A lot of the pro guys hope, will, will help people out, which is cool. You know, like, none of them are all like a noob, get away from you. Most of the pro guys will play with people that suck and try to help them out. Cool. Well, at least that, that's what I've noticed. <laughs> well, I mean, like, like me. It's, I'm, I'm referring suck. to me playing. To like you, yeah. Problem. I was gonna say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sounds like you have experience with that. No. That's cool though. Yeah, ah. I, I do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now there are times, man. I'll get on Halo and I'll, I'll do some incredible things. But damn, man, lately, it's like I'm a magnet for like free kills. I'll spawn and. There are a lot of One better time I people spawned and there was now. a plasma pistol coming at me. And I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and he freaking did the noob comp ball on me. I'm like, what the f? <laughs> yeah, today I was playing again. He, he was playing with a stopwatch SS- around his neck, dude. <laughs> uh, I want to say it was either SSJ moves or like white something. And I spawned I directly in front of him. I mean, I spawned and got assassinated. I was alive for two seconds. <laughs> and it, 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 it was on the elbow and. Lockout, so I know it wasn't somewhere where he could just drop down and assassinate me. And I spawned yeah. on the elbow, and then he killed me. And I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, anyway, man. no, I, I spawn and I see this big ball of green coming at me, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, are you kidding me?" I mean, that's all I could say. Ah, 
<laughs> Who doesn't, actually? Well, on to Battle Warrior 21, who says, uh, let's see here, not too many players know about this, but this amazing combo against vehicles is dual plasma rifles. The easiest vehicles to take out with this combo is the Scorpion Tank and the Wraith, because they're big and slow to turn what? around. What? <laughs> and this makes your job oh, this guy I, I'm just reading the, the tip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He says this makes your job a whole lot easier for you to take them out. Another good way to take them out is to shoot with dual plasma rifles, and when they're facing your direction, you press Y and then L to get rid of one of the plasma rifles and throw a grenade. The reason you do this is because everyone knows a tank uh, can take you out in one shot, so you should damage the tank before you die. So another one of your teammates can continue where you left off and destroy the tank. War dogs and ghosts are not the easiest to take out with dual plasma rifles, so I suggest you just damage it enough for your teammate right behind you to take the hog out when you die. Keep up the great word, pod tag. Providing there. there's a guy behind you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm of course, if you want to just spend out. three or four guys to take out a, a jeep, you might want to, I don't know, well, wait until it gets close enough to take The whole point is over. bad with this is that you're going to have to, like, plan this out. And be like, everybody get dual plasmas and we're running after them, and then they can all just kill you all in one shot. So, I mean... <laughs> Get that tank Either just try to stick them from or... long range or use the rockets, bro. You know, you don't yeah, need to rockets. close to a tank. Yeah, I'm, uh, to I, don't, I, don't, I don't like going close to tanks, it's just me, though. Yeah. I don't it, know about yeah, you, yeah. but... If you're ever playing on a, on a game with, with um, wraiths and no rockets, then this is a good tip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is like no games. <laughs> exactly, man. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Coldest Iceman says... It's my Hey, turn. guys. Sorry. Go do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Cortez Iceman says, hey guys, here's my tip. When on big maps, especially containment, when you head the sniper and you're aiming at a moving truck, try shooting in front of the enemy or where you think he's about to go. I found this quite useful on big maps because uh, most of the time when I would try to shoot at a moving target, I usually wouldn't do this and end up shooting around one half of an inch of where the enemy actually ended up. And I'd be like, what the heck? LOL. That's a laugh out loud, by the way. <laughs> well, that's my tip, guys. See you later. Keep on fragging trucks and sticking minivans and whatever else we do. <laughs> did you say when you're on Big Macs? I know. You yeah. did say that. And it got me oh, well, my bad. <laughs> you know. yeah, you got McDonald's on the brain there, dude. Man, yeah, man. dude. Robin I got a plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you went with your Xbox Diamond car, took your girl out. You're like, baby, we're getting a Big Mac. No, no, dude. We 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 straight up went to Quiznos, boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we went to the place where they make the food in front of you, like you know, the subway. Oh, y'all, <laughs> fancy. High anyway, class, but yeah, this is high class. This is a, this is a good tip. Mostly, it's not because the map is big; it's because of the lag in the map. Because there's so many people on it. That's usually why it shoots about an inch where they actually were, is because because of the lag. So. Reason why you don't get to shoot in front of it is not because of big map, but because of the lag. So yeah. okay. that's the reason what I think anyway. So well, yeah, I, I, I do I do the same thing, but I think I thought everybody did, don't, don't you guys? No, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, man. You're crazy. <laughs> JVB JVB just points right at shoots at his butt the entire time. Go in, go in. <laughs> <laughs> you who? Anyway, <laughs> you land shark. Yeah, all right. Let's work. Silent man. ghost. <laughs> Another yeah, Fontecler Pro B guy. You guys uh, must listen. Anyway. Silent Ghost 53 says, One tip I have found out in one flag CTF on Terminal. What you want to do is get two people in a warthog and drive man. right under the tracks. Where that little hole in the ground, that little hole in the ground is, and they have the person in the passenger seat, Get out and grab the flag. Hmm. While all of this is going on, send two more of your teammates to the top of the terminal and have them shoot down the enemies who are chasing the flag guy back under the terminal. Then drive the warthog back to the base and flag capture. Round over. Round over. Okay, I found what's... this tip to be very successful and use it in match-made games all the time. Okay, what's this what talking about, about with the, the little hole in the ground and all this stuff? Right I'm the thinking the that uh, he's talking about there's a little entranceway on the side of the wall under the under the uh, walkway. Oh, okay. Coming from the tracks. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Eh. Come on, food newbie. By yeah. then, the, the 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 wraith is like right on you. Yeah, that's the thing, uh, man. Yeah. You got to hold it. <laughs> it's not like people aren't going to be around there waiting for you to get it that far. That's quite a ways to get it, you know. <laughs> yeah. It's like if you can get it that far, then. 
you know, he can pretty much get it the rest of the way, too. Yeah, because then the, useful the tip guy on the that, water uh, has to spin it around work. and drive back. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe there's more to that little hole in the rails or something than we know about. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we so gotta practice that one. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After all, he is from Pro P, so I mean... Uh... <clears throat> uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Don't diss my guys. We'll, we'll, we'll go off on you. Don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring it, brother. Yeah. All right, well, hey, it's Let's time for on. Map of the Month, which this month is Relic. And we got all kinds of cool really? tips for Relic. Really? We'll get through as many as we can to keep it about an hour. And uh, get things going here. We've got stuff <laughs> starting off with some Team Slayer and FFA Slayer and Team Snipers tips. And why don't I start off with one from Battle Warrior 21? who says, in Relic Team Snipers, you and your team must learn the way of staying as far away from your teammates as possible. Spread out your team throughout the map and make sure you know no. two things. If your microphone is on and you're breathing hard, your opponent will be able to hear you. <laughs> yeah, this is probably like, so for those, those, those guys who just turn it off. make love to their mic. I think this is like, <laughs> have you noticed like fat people breathe particularly hard? <laughs> or uh, I hate the people <laughs> that listen to like rap music oh, or they're eating the, what music they're really loud. Man. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, like, you you hear them like saying only a selective few words of the song because they don't know the the rest of the lyrics, but they act like they do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people come on in the pregame lobby. They're like, they're like, yo, yo, and they start like a whole freestyle rap session right there, and you're like, shut the hell up. <laughs> Hey, I, I, do that. That I do don't that. I don't want to hear time. your stupid rap. <laughs> <laughs> Get somebody beatboxing. This is yeah. a piece of crap and it's whack. Oh, la, la. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Gene Lewis and I am gay. <laughs> You're in a Halo 2 lobby and your first time with Dead Alive. I got real big bras and... Uh, <laughs> Graw. So, yeah, so... Uh, hey, anyway. hey, GVB, what's Graw mean? I'm not going to tell you, bro. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, okay. All right. So I where know. the heck was I? All right. Breathing hard. Your opponent will be able to hear you if he's close, and this will let him know that you're near. Uh, and we'll be ready to attack you while you're looking for the enemy when he is right near you. Unless he's left his mic on, and also you can hear him breathing. Another thing is, uh, you know, by the way, you know what I do? If you just bring your mic down to about your chin line, you're in good shape. Yeah. Exactly. Because then your, your, right on your, nose. your breath will come out in a yeah horizontal direction. Cool. He looks, I go like this. <laughs> Thanks, you. That's that plenty. Phone, That's too. plenty. We get the idea. <laughs> and stop flipping a bottle cap or whatever the hell you're doing over there. Yeah, I know. I keep we hearing can hear it, too. It. I'm like, Jeez. I wonder who's doing it. You're like letting people yeah, in your I'm room. Drinking, oh, come I'm on in. Come on in. Yeah, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. I'm not recording a podcast or anything. I'm all right. app on it. Anyway... All right, so back to where we're... Dude, start, freaking like, A, can I continue the podcast here? Dang. <laughs> Come on, dude. All right. Stop whining. <laughs> you have to listen very carefully. All right. Uh, anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> what the hell was I? Uh, another, thing, oh, no. another thing is you have to know uh, when and when not to talk. <clears throat> G. Lewis. If nah. you can get a shot on your opponent, tell your teammates Jesus. where he is so they can help. Don't be selfish and get the kill yourself. The enemy can be a better sniper for all you know, for all you know, and take you out in a second. Teamwork is what wins the game, so you must tell your allies where you, where your enemies are. Also, don't forget about where the big red X is when your teammate dies. Your opponent probably sniped your teammate, so the enemy shouldn't be near the big red X, unless when your teammate spawns and says, "Hey, he was close to me and beat me down." Uh, that's when you know the enemy is in the area near the big red X, of course, and you search there. Communication is very important in Team Sniper's game. Keep up the good work. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, I mean, if you're playing with random people, I mean, chances are you're not going to have that type of teamwork yeah. right off the bat. Yeah. <laughs> There's been plenty of times I'm, like, telling dudes, oh, you know, tell me where the sniper's at, tell me where the sniper's at. I don't hear anything. Well, it's Team <laughs> Sniper's. So. I know. It's like, you have a mic. <laughs> you got to find out the hard way. Yeah, if it's Team Snipers, it's like, it's in your hand, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, one time, we were, we were, we were like, tied in a match, and I'm like, dude, where is the sniper? It wasn't a Team Sniper game, but it was, 
it was a map where they had the sniper rifle. And I'm like, where's the sniper? Where is the sniper? Nobody said a word. I'm like, Jesus, come on. We lost, of course. Lame. So, yeah, it's not easy. Jimmy Beam losing, team. it's like hand in hand. And... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, who's up? Who's up? That was... We'll get you back for that one, brother. All right. <laughs> he um, also says... What? Yes, he also He also says, says for Team Slayer. With Team Slayer, with Team Slayer on Relic, means one thing: dual wielding. Most important weapon on this map. Weapons on this map: is either sniper or VR. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> are you playing like <laughs> Pogs over there the, or something? What the are you battle doing? Battle Cap of Doom. <laughs> Ooh, me? I'm not even moving anything. You guys hearing stuff? Yes. I swear to God, I'm just sitting in my chair drinking water. <sighs> Yeah, but you must be like the... throwing the bottle cap like around. <laughs> what do you mean this? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, that. It's <laughs> not a bottle cap. It's my uh, uh. I'd rather not say. Ah, uh, yeah. Please don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a bottle it's cap. Another Trojan that's for sure. I played Tiddlywinks over here, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, to continue, if you can't get either one of these, then you must get the duels. On this map, I prefer the awesome. Great, magnificent SMG and plasma plasma rifle. Or you could get the unexpected SMG and Magnum. Like the SMG and Magnum, like you just keep on shooting with your, with your Magnum. Ugh. Magnums. Hold down the button on the side of the <laughs> on the side of the SMG and keep on tapping the button on the side of the Magnum. Make sure you aim at your enemy's head. Be careful because the SMG will slowly move your marker. Marker on your screen up, so keep it down on your opponent. Keep up the good work again, Pontacular. Yay, go Pontacular. Goody goody gum drops. Goody goody gum drops. Right. Yeah, for me, uh, no to do wielding on that map, but you know. Well, sometimes you don't have a choice. I'm a noob, so you know whatever. <laughs> if you can get a if you can get a BR or a carbine and some grenades, that's better, I think, on that map because. If you can't yeah. get long range, well, unless you're like, range. yeah, un unless you're inside of the base and there's like a whole bunch of people around you, then I could see it working. Like if you're if you're on the back of the base where the teleporter is, yeah. But anywhere else, BR. Yeah, yeah pretty totally. much. Or car you know, a lot of times on that map when I'm on uh, CTF on defense, I'll just I'll drop down right away, grab the carbine, and actually on the way down there, I'll get the plasma pistol and then drop down and get the carbine, so I'll get like the, uh, you know, the covenant noob combo going on with the carbine. <laughs> And that you know that works pretty good, so because mm -hmm. you know I don't have time to run around and try to get the battle rifle and mess with all that because I'm trying to also run back there and get the plasma grenades and be on uh, patrol for when the jeep comes up and drop a few plasmas on there yeah, and take I it out. Yeah, I that part. Warthog. Everybody waits for that jeep, man. The warthog. <laughs> yeah. It's coming. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh no, the I'll warthog's coming! Stand. It's like no crap. We can all hear it. <laughs> I'll yeah. just stay in front of it, anyway. throw plasmas, and die. Yeah, but it's just you know, there's a real simple yeah. you know way to take best. it out. It's just that your team has to be working together, and that's Two where it stickies. comes in. If you can get uh, two stickies, and that's it. If yeah. you can get <laughs> your team to work together and throw two stickies exactly. on it, like I was gonna say. <laughs> the best is when I, I get up that ramp with the warthog, and I'm ready to, you know, get the flag, and I. Freaking jump on top of one of those boxes and and we're stuck. They all just shooting at us. <laughs> I'm like, get out! And then the boom! And everybody died. I'm like, damn it! <laughs> get out of the way! Boom! Betrayal! 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 betrayal. 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 Triple betrayal! Betray tacular. <laughs> I've done that with, with the flag carrier and somehow managed to kill him by accident when he got off. I'm like, whoops! <laughs> <laughs> well, now we got uh, a bunch of CTF tips coming up here, and who's going to start us off on that one? Poison, eh? uh, classic, classic rock guy says the strategy I use when playing CTF on Relic is simple. One guy grabs the rockets quickly with the ghosts and returns to the base. One guy grabs all the stickies on top of the building where the flag is. And hides until the teammates take out the enemy sniper. Two people rush the sniper. One grabs sniper, snipes the enemy sniper, and returns to the base. The other guy that was falling this time picks up the enemy sniper and returns to the base. Pretty, you pretty much have all the good weapons in possession, so it would, so it should be pretty easy to defend. Hmm. Or def defend. 
whatever he yeah. wants to say. <laughs> 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 well, the one problem about that is everything has to work, and knowing how Halo 2 works, everything's not going to fall in. Right yeah, but I know one thing. Time. If you can, if you can get in the ghosts and you take off right away and boost, you you will get the rockets before they possibly yeah. can. There's, yeah, you don't have any no problem way. with the rockets and the stickies. The only problem is getting that second guy to go get their sniper. But you have to have him go against their sniper, and then everybody else is gonna know that he's dead. So everybody on the team's gonna run to him yeah, and but... grab the sniper. So you're gonna be going against three people. So that's the only problem, I guess. This is okay. the last thing. Everything well, else should work except for the last thing. That's true. So if you get rockets and one sniper, you're still in better shape than they are. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they'll leave the sniper. Like, it happens to me all the time. My team would just leave, and I'm like, guys, I need one person to just help me out in case that ghost comes come, you know, comes after me. Mm-hmm. And uh, they'll just leave, and lo and behold, here comes the ghost, and I'm dead. So, <laughs> lo and behold. Man. Lo and behold. <laughs> yeah. Lo and behold. Oh. So who's next? All right. Uh, dial, dial packs. Is mm-hmm. that how I say it? As for relic, yeah. What's come on, pro B Come on. <laughs> when playing CTF, and you need to uh, contest the flag, get to the front of of the relic and and start jumping right below the flag point. If they don't know where that's coming from, or are all at the end of their base, you can bring them towards you and have the rest of the team go from the back. It only works temporarily. If you played against pros, wait. If you played against pros, but if you play against nubs, it should give you enough time to capture the flag. It happened to me <laughs> once, so I know. Especially yeah. if you have both yeah. snipers. Well, that's it for now, guys. Keep up the great work. Shout out to my friend Sam Nader. That's the second time he's been mentioned on this show. Yeah. That's not right. He's a little special person. <laughs> <laughs> so give him. <laughs> So I'll give him a shout out. <laughs> yeah, Sammy. Sam he comes back from Disney World and everybody's making fun of him. <laughs> hey, so he's making fun of him. What do you mean? So another thing about uh, <laughs> about um, relic on this on the with the jeep in the front right there. If you park it, from what I understand, if you park a jeep in that same spot, right, and you have one guy stand on top of the jeep, have the second guy jump on top of his head. Apparently, you can jump up on top of the base right there in front. Uh, like, the, no okay, way. Unless okay, here, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> okay, so the first guy jumps on top of the jeep, right? Second guy jumps his head. First guy jumps up in the air. So you have a, you already have a jumping yeah, up in the air part. Yeah. When he's at the peak of his jump, yeah. the second guy jumps, and apparently he can get on top. I haven't tried it out yet, but I hear it yeah. works. So I, I don't yeah. doubt it because there were times where I, I'm like, how did they get our flag? And, Nobody knew, hmm. so it wouldn't surprise me. We should go try that out. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. ready, man. <laughs> we'll be right yeah, back so, after no, these right important now. messages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking of which, Beep. oh, and, and and we're back. Yeah, it didn't work, by the way. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, oh, oh, by the way, we're kidding. um, we're uh, you probably may or may not have already heard that we are um, partnering with XBL Radio, the Xbox Live Radio guys. And um, pretty mm-hmm. pumped about that. So, you know, they're, we're playing their promo. Right. They're playing our promo. It's all good stuff. Pretty oh, cool. nice. Nice. Yeah, well, kind of like what we do with GTR or something like that. But anyway, we can go. Yeah. And I'd be happy yeah. to play GTRs or whatever. Anybody's, I don't know. We'll <laughs> rotate it. I'm all for indie podcasts, you know. It's cool. <laughs> indie? Yeah, unpaid, yeah. you know. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. my bad, my bad. I, I'm a um, nub at everything. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? You, Lewis. J- just go back in your corner, and here's your here's your controller. Be happy. <laughs> go ahead, Gene Lewis. Uh, Reaping Raven, uh, All Star staff member and Pro B staff member, by the way. Tips for the map of the week. And finally, for the map of the week is Relic. Well, first of all, you need both snipers in control on opposite sides of the map at all times. Generally, I would place a trustworthy guard with each sniper to prevent him from being killed. Always communicate also. Uh, if your team, if you're playing Team Slayer and you can't afford to, and you can't afford to guard the snipers the whole match, place one guard at the worst sniper and leave the other guy in a safe spot. 
That he should have a close range weapons or a BR for a secondary weapon. That close range guy, but anyway. The other guy can roam freely, do a teabag dance in the open field, sing songs, uh, uh, etc. Uh, uh, which is what Reef and Raven does most of the matches, anyway. To <laughs> track attention, <laughs> have the snipers take out the enemies uh, approaching him, or he should get in the ghost with rockets and splatter everyone in his way. <coughs> The ghosts can be very effective on this map for splattering, but don't fall off the edge, which I've done a million times, Aww. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one time I it's got one pissed thing that off. Makes me and mad. One time I got pissed off and, and took like three, three, two of my guys with me on the warthog. I'm like, you know what? We're going to all die. And I, <laughs> I think I was with you in that game. I think you killed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that happens. <laughs> guys, this is for the better of men. <laughs> for the better of the team, guys, we all died. And we all try to jump out right right before we jump off, and it's just like, oh, crap. <laughs> Drink this Kool-Aid. We, we hop out right. the Warthog, and we're standing above the water, and we're just like, oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting a little crazy. Well, we got one all from... Right. The, go ahead, go ahead. The, uh, the two chief. Number one, rush snipers. Snipers totally own on this map. And once you get them, never let them go. Just like my teddy bear. <laughs> number, <laughs> number two, you know those ramps at the front of the base? Which they don't ramps? exist in Assault or Capture the Flag. Remember that. Number three, if you're playing CTF, grabbing the flag, taking it to the back of the base using the teleport, and running it to the, ba to the base is too time-consuming. And I just try running it straight out of the base. Just be sure to have a ride waiting. All you have snipers. Or have all the snipers. Number four, never snipe in obvious places. Don't snipe from the sniper tower or from the flag bomb area. Just don't do it. Don't do it. Number don't five, do don't move from the tower area unless it is to grab a sniper or rocket. Hmm. Thank you, Dad. Too cheap. Yeah. I hate it when everybody it's runs off the central uh, base, like on defense, and just like, like everybody. <laughs> and goes to grab something like, I don't know, yeah, a yeah. needler or anything. <laughs> and it's like, dude, yeah, we need some needler, people I'll be right up back. here. You're not going to get a power weapon. Come on. I'm going to grab a needler, dude. I'm going to tow. I'll be right back. I'm going to get a needler. <laughs> dude, be, totally be back in like five secs, dude. <laughs> yeah, the, the thing is, man, when you're going to go and, and grab a, or attempt to grab a weapon, shout it out because chances are somebody already grabbed it. And if they're ahead of you, you know, it does, it's not going to do any good to argue with them. Yeah, yeah. sometimes I'll play against some people lately in some of the Podtacular clans that uh, will do that. I'll go run for a weapon, and then they'll kill me so they can grab it. And I'm uh, like, what the heck? I hate when people do that. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen that. Oh, man, yeah. that pissed me off. <laughs> I know. I was just like, what? If you wanted it, you could have just told me, Jesus. I mean, like, I'm a mean guy. And, plus, and then he gets killed with it, like, two seconds later. Ah, so. I hate that. So. <laughs> Anyway. I, I won't name names. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, on to Rob <laughs> Bike, who says, Hey, guys, uh, here's a tip for a relic. If you're playing CTF or Assault and you're in defense, have someone get the sword so they can move most of the purple boxes in front of the ramp from which the hog comes from and a few blocking the path to the flag. This makes it hard for the hog That's to get through tip. and pick up your flag. Have you guys done this before? I haven't been able to do no, this. No, I've never tried it. That sounds never pretty cool, actually, it. though. Yeah, yeah I, should, about I, I, I think I will next time. Now that I hear this, is that something good tip? Yeah, that one. What I want to know is in the front. what I want to know real quick is why is this gamer type robbed bike when he was young? <laughs> did somebody rob his bike? And I think so. I think he's been carrying that burden with him this, this whole this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you can. It's okay. It's better. okay, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there too. I've had my bike stolen. Yeah, you know. I mean, it's okay, man. If you need counseling, you can call G. Lewis at any time. Give me a rob. Give me yeah, a hug, man. Give me a hug. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the doctor strong, buddy. of Podtacular. See, I would add to that name. I would add bitch in the front, and in between Rob and bike, I would put my. So it would be like, bitch robbed my bitch bike. Bitch robbed my bike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, give it a little flavor. That sounds oh, like a JVB <laughs> name right there. <laughs> Okay, this one bike. comes in from uh, Bitched <laughs> Robbed My Terminator Llama. Uh, 
Hey, Pod Checkler, I have a 6 v 6 battle CTF strategy. Okay, when you are on offense, get three people to get the Warthog and rush the rockets. Have the passenger grab the rockets and hop back into the Jeep. Have the driver pull up to the back of the giant building thingy. <laughs> <laughs> have the rocket guy jump out and fire on, and open the teleporter. Make sure the warthog is still driving around, shooting as a distraction. Then meanwhile, look. I mean, then meanwhile, back at your respawn, have two guys both run. The, okay, hold up, hold up. Both rush the snipers. I guess that's what he's trying to say. Yeah, both yeah. of the snipers get yeah. two guys to run both of the snipers. Then the last guy hops in through the teleporter and meets up with the rocket guy. Then those two proceed to blow the living rabbit pellets. <laughs> out of anyone near the flag that the snipers didn't get. Then once <laughs> all is clear, have the one guy, not the rocket guy, grab the flag, hop through the teleporter, and score. This will usually refuse the other team if done quickly enough because they will still, they will still, they are still trying to get rocks, snipers, or something, which you already have. Keep up the good work, guys. Okay, wait, so one thing I don't get about this. Okay, the flag guy. Take the flag, go through the teleporter, and score. What? I, I don't. I, 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 maybe he yeah, means go in the, it, to Maybe that's he a, means going in the, the the direction of the teleporter. I have no idea. See, because if you go all the way back to the teleporter, you could have walked the entire way to the flag uh, exactly. plant spot by then. You know, that's maybe he yeah. just thought he was on uh, Be Beaver Creek for like four seconds. I don't know. <laughs> maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks anyway, though, Jordan rabbit, Lama. The rest part like, was good. Rabbit, How'd rabbit. I get here? <laughs> Rabbit pellet is actually fun to play with. Yeah, but if yeah, it's but... living rabbit pellets, I think you have, like, intestinal problems there. <laughs> yeah, the, I mean... Uh, you might have worms. Hurt, you might have to get that checked out. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, those, I use those Definitely like plasma grenades because they stick. <laughs> <laughs> they automatically blow up. Yeah, <laughs> exploding poop worms. Sticky. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Yummy dump. Right. <laughs> that, that, yeah. That's what Fu has. That's why he. Uh, oh, oh. The way I've been eating. So that's yeah. why. That's why you always see Fu in the corner, crouched down. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, Nothing. I was just go, uh, go away for a minute. I was looking at the. There's <laughs> <a little stalking laughs> on rabbit pellets. <laughs> 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 yeah. Who's next. Oh boy. I think you're next. Somebody. I got Who's next, warrior. brother? Battle Warrior 21. Next, brother? Okay. I play a lot of CTF games on brother, because games. I play a lot of big team battle. And one strategy I've learned is never waste your Warthog. Most people that I play with, I played on Rabbit. I like never waste your mind, but Halo style. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly, but that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, you know, you know, game that I anyway. played on Relic was catastrophic. What my team does is rush the back of the uh, back, the back ramp of the enemy's base, trying to get past the purple covenant things, and the hog usually gets stuck or shot. What I was talking about before. You must have timing on this map. What hog is important for your strategy? What you do is get a get a hog with three people. And get two out, two out to open a teleport. Okay, the hog goes back to the base, picks up two new people. Then your team should go through the teleporter. Some might get picked off if the enemy is above the teleporter, so be careful. Couple, couple should walk to the side of these of the base and jump on and jump on the pillars, pillars of the of the ground to get on top of the base. I have a little <laughs> trouble here. They are located on both sides. Wait, wait, wait. Both left and right side of the base. The remaining members go back to, go back way behind the base, and the Warthog should be arriving. So when you have a synchronized attack... Wait a minute. I'm reading this thing like like G. Lewis. Anyway, um, <laughs> that, don't stay too close together. <laughs> don't stay too close together with your teammates. Throw a couple of grenades before you go up the ramp. Stay away from the Warthog because it might blow up and it does some major damage. My friends and I do this, and we have synchronized completely. Synchronize, watch this. <laughs> it will definitely not work if you go no. into the big team battle alone. Have some friends t who know who know your playing style and work together for victory. Cool. Sounds like a victory. lot of work. Victory. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. But that, that sounds like it will work with a synchronized cool. attack. There, it's just, man, you really got to have friends that you're tight with that will actually work, do that with you. You know, because synchronized okay. attacks are not easy to do with just matchmaking. Because people are like, no, shut up, fool! I'm going for sniper. Yeah, basically, we we just start running and hopefully everything falls in the right place. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, that's uh, uh, all we have time for problem. this episode. But uh, guys, tune in next week for the customs and call-in show where we're going to be talking about the top few custom games people send in, play some listener voicemails, read off some cool tales from the foxhole, and if, um, depending on when E3 comes around, um, who knows, it may even be out by now, uh, we're going to have a separate E3 show, and if it's already come out yeah. by now, we've already had it. But uh, you guys should check that out. But it's gonna, we're going to have all <laughs> kinds of Halo 3 information. <laughs> you probably already heard about now. It's going to suck. <laughs> But yeah, we're going to be covering everything we can possibly find about Halo 3, whether it's uh, extra pictures from E3, um, all kinds of the you know the latest information about uh, Halo 3, and what's going to what be coming out. Video we're podcast. all looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah video podcast. Speaking of which, um, you will be hearing more about that soon with Pod TV. So get excited, nice. man! It's finally happening. Which has been coming for around fifty-seven years, fifty-eight, something like uh, that. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's happening. They're doing a good job, so hopefully we'll expect it soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's a lot of hard work. Yeah. Send in your tips, etc. Yeah. to Potacular at gmail.com. We ask for new stuff every week, so check it out at Potacular.com. At the new Potacular.com. Yeah, with new forms. New yeah. and improved. Call our listener voicemail at 206-888-H-A-L-O. That is 206-888-HALO. <laughs> In case you... Uh... I-N-G-O. <laughs> yeah, 4256. G-I-N-G-O-H-A-L-E-O. H-A-L-E-O. O and HALO was the name. G-L-E-W-I-S. spell for a second. Yes, uh, Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I, that's true. I'm sorry. Okay, so shout out to Extinct Titan and thanks to Pankill05 for editing the pre show notes. Appreciate it. Also, big thanks to Cyclonic for editing audio. Big thanks, man. Doing a good job on that. Well, Cyclonic. <laughs> well, hey, guys. Until next time, I am your host, Fumo Jive, and JBB. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Lewis. <laughs> Dude, you're just Lewis is falling down a bit. Like, you gotta read the names. <laughs> like, oh. No, I don't know what it is. I said it right after you, but the like, audio's lagging. Just so, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, uh, see you guys next time. Keep on fragging trucks. Yeah, I'm lagging. You know, playing with rabbit pellets. <laughs> yeah. Keep on playing with live rabbit pellets. <laughs> Steal your. <laughs> Don't forget, bitch stole my Terminator lover. Aww. <laughs> 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 Alright, thanks for this. Don't you let your bitch stop. steal your Terminator. Aww. You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't stop. You can't There's only one thing left to say. Da 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 da